I hate these. Okay, first of all, this new lab coat just sucks in general. But I specifically hate this. This is so bad. I'm free. So what are we doing? Uh, I'm going to attempt to, uh, to shoot some rockets in high speed. But first, mm -hmm. we need to make... Yeah, we have to make the little rocket tubes. What's the purpose of making it in this shape? It just makes the rocket more, like, go off a little bit more violently. Okay. It makes the gas coming out it go faster, mm. basically. After the uranium glass, you're like a glass expert now. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Yep. So here, you just gotta let them cool down. So we created not one, not two, but four different chances. And this oh. one. <laughs> that was uh, a little bit worse than I thought it would be. Okay, clean it up. The only thing I'm missing now is the nitric acid, which I didn't even check if I had or not. So we're looking for nitric acid, right? Well, not just regular nitric acid. You need 100% nitric acid. <laughs> and it's a pain to store, so you don't really want to have very much of it at a time. This is just regular concentrated, which won't work. Hmm. Um, yeah, so you want the 100%, and I don't like storing very much, and it looks like we have, like, <laughs> maybe enough for one. Look at the lid. So it's all corroded. Yeah. If you have more, it builds up pressure, and you have to remember to vent it, like, once a week, or else your bottle can pop. Really? Yeah. So it says fuming nitric acid. Yeah, so now look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's not that bad. There's not very much in here. When I first made it and it was like up to here, when you opened it, it would release pressure. I did it once a day just to make sure the bottle wouldn't pop. To be fair, the bottle probably won't pop. Okay. You just are never supposed to fill it above like a third. But this is kind of like a pathetic amount. It might be enough for one. So we got one shot. <sighs> one opportunity. One opportunity. <laughs> Look at that. What is that? Well, this is, this is the acid cupboard, or the acid cabinet. So, uh, that's what acids do. <laughs> Everyone needs an acid cabinet. One, two, three, power on. Oh, that's gonna scare you. <laughs> God, that's nice and bright. It didn't scare you at all. Okay. Uh, what color background's the best? I don't remember if it's dark or white. I think it's dark. Yeah, okay, so we need a black background. Okay, so we tape this background up. Normally I would take down the other papers, but uh, I'm lazy. Aluminum tape and bristle board. <laughs> the highest of quality. Here, then we just hold this. How did I do it last time? How did I hold it last time? I used the smaller uh, clamp. And there we go. I mean, I think that should be okay. Yeah. We only have, we only have one shot, so. One potentially, yeah, yeah that's we, all we got. We, we have to make this, we have one we have shot. To make this one count. Who do we contact for more nitric acid? Uh, nobody, because nobody will sell it to us. Uh, last time Corey made it. We'll contact Corey. Core! Core! Can you make us some nitric acid? No, we need we need more. No. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. All my pipettes have weird stuff in them. It's only in them too. It's not on them. <laughs> sucks. The entire thing of what we're doing here is trying to mix something with nitric acid so it basically lights on fire and kind of explodes. So if you have an unknown thing in your pipette, you probably don't want to just. Mix it. Safety first. Well, no, it's just stupidity last. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So turn on the fume hood. So I guess the first thing we need to do is just load up the tube, but because it's fuming nitric acid, we cannot wear these gloves because because they light on fire. So either I have to use my bare hands or vinyl gloves. I normally don't have vinyl gloves, but I just bought some. It doesn't really matter. Like you get the acid on your hands, you just wash it off. It doesn't really. Yeah, and you've, you've spilled acid no, on No, no, I before, poured right? the nitric acid, this nitric acid on my hand and I held it there for like, I don't remember how many seconds. It's fine. Okay, I'll just get, I'll just get, I'll just get them. Uh, I don't want to leave the room with the coat. Corey. Can you throw me those gloves on the table there? Try it. Whew. These are vinyl gloves. And I tested them before, in general, and they didn't light on fire. But I've never tested these. Okay. So you know what? <laughs> I don't trust them. We don't have enough to test it. You're right. I don't trust them. All right. I don't trust them. Okay. So bare hands. Okay. So what we're going to do here is just add everything that we have. Ah, uh, it's. Oh, it's about a pipe head wow. full. Everything that we have to the test tube. Probably could have done two runs with that. I think I regret adding that much. Uh, I'm gonna take some out. So I think that's how much we need. I need a new beaker now. Uh, one second. Oh. We know what's gonna happen to that beaker. Core, do you want to see us fire rockets? Sure, man. We're not. We're not ready yet, though. Oh, okay. Fine. I just realized I hate firing rockets. So the solvent we're using, it's nitric acid and aniline. Okay. Aniline's gross. I don't like working with it. Where's the aniline? Aniline's here. In this crusty container. Well, it's covered in foil because it, uh, it's sensitive to light. You're gonna see though, it's yellow like the nitric acid. Oh. So pure nitric acid is colorless, hmm. but it's yellow because the nitric acid is also degrading. Hmm. This is, I'm assuming gonna be yellow. It might even be red if it's degraded a lot. So again, another thing, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, yeah, pipette directly from this and put it in the rockets. That's just kind of, again, foolish. You have fire flying everywhere with your solvent here. Let's see. And that is Emily. Yeah. So I'm gonna just add a bit to this. So this is more than we'll use probably. Add a bit more. Okay, so now we have just a little vial of aniline in the corner. Chilling. This glove. They probably both got aniline on them. Core! I hate this part, yeah. We're ready to go. Alright guys, let's get going. Core, there's, 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 there's nice. another one here. This one says Corey on the tag. One of them is mine. Here. Alright, I'm doing it. I kind of hate this one, to be I honest. I actually like it. Well, I mean, I kind of hate it. I bought them thinking that they'd be, like, cool, but it kind of annoys me that shields. it... It looked like, I don't know. That, that is You're okay. covered. You're pretty That's good. good. You're pretty good. You'd be like, oh no, what I'll is this? Do you know how to use this? Do you know how to use this? Yes. I think. I think I just pull the pin, right? Like, and then just... And then? Spray the sh stuff. Yeah. That's okay. Fire you passed. You passed the training. All right. So we're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. Uh, the only part that I hate about this yes. is almost everything. I don't like things that go pop. But remember, we only have one. Shot. <laughs> we have, no, we have two. We have two. Oh we wait, have two. we have two. Yes, yes. Okay, so step one is turn the fume hood up a bit more, because aniline is toxic and it's going to just spray aniline vapor everywhere. If the test tube doesn't explode. Well, this is just gonna make me feel. It's it's a pretty thick. Neck. That's thicker than the video. One of the ones you did in the video. Yeah, it's thick. It's a thick one. What are you, you fool? That's a little too far, son. What are you afraid? Safety first. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I guess we'll just go. One, two. Oops. Dude, <laughs> that was the most. I didn't add enough aniline. I was too afraid. <laughs> that, was, that was just the most depressing. <laughs> that was just. A... As it hits, it makes like a little uh, puff. Best description ever.
Like the moment it hits, it immediately just shoots, I think it's a bunch of vapor and it's a mixture between the nitric and the aniline. In normal speed, <laughs> I was kind of hating on it. Yeah, but that, was, that wasn't as cool in normal speed, but. I was a big hater in normal speed, but. Look at this. But yeah, definitely slowed down. It's a lot, it's actually interesting. But this is relatively mild compared to. What it could be? Yeah. Yeah. Let's blast the rest of the nitric acid. Okay. What do you think? Okay. So I'm not gonna be afraid this time, and I'm gonna shoot in a bunch. Loading the acid. I think there actually might be enough for a third run. To be, ooh. Or do we want this one just to be the zestiest of them all? This is the zestiest, let's make it the zestiest. Uh-oh. What happened? Uh-oh. I touched acid on the neck. So it's gonna maybe, I don't think it's enough, but sometimes it lights on fire before it hits the bottom. That's dangerous. It's not dangerous, it's just That's what it scary. is. That's scary. It's not scary, it's just what it is. It's kind of scary. <laughs> So I was gonna say, look at the back there. The fact that it's not completely splattered with junk. Look at how clean it is. Yeah, it's clean. It means that it was a bad run. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, I guess. Let's go. Round two. I guess this is as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> That was a much cooler. It still didn't like snap. I can't even snap my fingers. It still didn't snap there. <laughs> it still didn't snap. Usually like if you get it right, yeah. I think it's because my, uh, the neck was yeah. not narrow enough or something. No, it's cool. When you hit the acid, you can see it makes like a, an initial splash. Kind of shoots a bunch of stuff out of the tube. Ooh, nice spillage, Nige. <laughs> but it does seem to ignite at the top and the bottom at the same time. Whoa. It's still really fast. I actually think the other one was cooler. I disagree. What? Well, this one has more epic flames shooting from the top. Look at the top. Look at how the dirt or whatever it is keeps trying to fall back down and then gets launched back up. But I think the other one, in real time, it was a bit lame. But in slow-mo, the fire looked cooler. The question is, what, what did we learn from this? We learned that... With enough aniline and nitric acid, you could power your car. <laughs> no. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> well, you know what? That was, a, that was quite, that was rather satisfying. More Either so way, than the first round. it was everything we had. So it doesn't matter <laughs> if it was good or not, because that's it. 